NSAIDs stand for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and they are a class of drugs known for their anti-inflammatory, antipyretic and analgesic effects. These drugs work by inhibiting cyclooxygenase enzymes and include drugs like ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac and high-dose aspirin according to the NHS. In this video, we will explain the mode of action of NSAIDs, their pharmacological effects, as well as potential side effects. To understand how NSAIDs work, we first need to know about the cyclooxygenase enzyme. There are two main isoforms of cyclooxygenase enzymes, these being COX-1 and COX-2. Despite being very similar and catalyzing the same reaction, which is the conversion of arachidonic acid to endoperoxides, which will then be converted to prostaglandins, prostacyclin, and thromboxane A2, there is an important difference in the expression and role of these enzymes in the body. COX-1 is present in most tissues and is mainly involved in tissue homeostasis. It is key for the production of prostaglandins, which offer protection to the gastric mucosa, preventing the formation of ulcers. It also plays an important role in platelet aggregation, the regulation of renal blood flow, and the initiation of parturition, or childbirth. COX-2, on the other hand, is not normally present in tissues, except for the kidney and it is induced by inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-1 and tumor necrosing factor alpha. In inflamed tissue, the expression of COX-2 is drastically upregulated, leading to the production of prostaglandins that induces the primary signs of inflammation, these being pain, heat, redness, swelling, and loss of function. Traditional NSAIDs inhibit both COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes. The analgesic, antipyretic and anti-inflammatory effects of NSAIDs is believed to come from the inhibition of COX-2, with the adverse effects, such as gastrointestinal bleeding, being consequence of COX-1 inhibition. Some newer NSAIDs are selective for COX-2, thus presenting with less gastrointestinal side effects. As of their pharmacological effects, the anti-inflammatory action of the NSAIDs is mainly consequenced to the decreased synthesis of prostaglandins that increase vasodilation, such as prostaglandin E2 and prostaglandin D2. The antipyretic actions of NSAIDs are mainly due to the inhibition of COX-2 in the hypothalamus. Inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-1 will stimulate the production of prostaglandins in the hypothalamus and this will elevate body temperature. So if COX-2 is inhibited there is no production of prostaglandins and therefore no fever. The analgesic effects of NSAIDs mainly result from the reduction in peripheral prostaglandin synthesis which sensitize nociceptors to inflammatory mediators such as bradykinin. The most common side effect of NSAIDs is adverse gastric effects, with symptoms such as dyspepsia, vomiting, and even at times gastrointestinal bleeding and ulceration. Other side effects include rashes in the skin, renal insufficiency, which is due to the inhibition of prostaglandin E2, prostaglandin I2, and prostacyclin, which are involved in the regulation of renal blood flow. And with the exception of aspirin, NSAIDs increase the risk of heart attack and stroke due to their tendency to increase blood pressure. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.